grade 6, welcome back to my channel and for today's lesson, we will be discussing about the parts and functions of the camera. After going through this lesson, you are expected to discuss the parts and functions of the camera, which is the point and shoot for the phone camera. So everyone knows what a camera is. You probably have SLR, DSLR, or point and shoot camera, and there is sure to be a camera on your phone. At its most basic level, a camera is a device used to capture images. Cameras come in many shapes and sizes, and each is used for a variety of needs. There are two main types of cameras available today. The first one we have is the DSLR or the Digital Single Lens Reflex, which is used by um, professional photographer. The second one is a point and shoot, which we can use for anyone, anyone who can use this camera. Now, let us try to answer this one. Learning task one, name the gadget. So, guess the name of an object from the given hint pictures. Ask any members of the family for help to unblock the words. You may do this on your notebook. So, let's have the first pictures. You have 10 seconds to answer this one. So the answer is point and shoot. Very good. Let's have the second picture. Let's have the second picture. Very good. The answer is mobile phone. Whether you are using the latest DSLR, a simple point and shoot, or a built-in camera in your cellular phone, there are common parts that you should know about it. So we have here the parts and functions of a camera. First part is what we call lens. It is the part that focuses and directs incoming light. A lens can be built in permanently or in tangible most point and shoot and phone cameras are fixed and cannot be adjusted. The second part is the viewfinder. It is a small window in traditional cameras through which you look with one eye to focus on a camera. Most point and shoot and phone camera just make use of the LCD screen for the purpose. The third part is the shutter release. The button or mechanism that is pressed, clicked, or tapped to. Number four is the image sensor. It converts the optical image to an electronic signal. Larger sensors generally can reproduce colors more accurately. Number five, the memory card where the images stored comes in different size and speed capacity. Number six is flush. It is used to augment lightning when natural light is low or insufficient. So here are the different parts of a camera. So we have here the lens, the aperture, the shutter, the zoom toggle, we have also the shutter release, the mode dial, the viewfinder or the LCD screen, and in front we have we have the uh, flush, and then the lens, and of course the sensor or ISO. Let's do the following activities for week 5. 